Pharma businesses uh, rely on uh, a strong local market and ability of the local market to integrate in global value chains. Ministry of Commerce Pakistan is doing a remarkable job to provide enabling environment in this context. May I request now uh, additional Secretary of Commerce, Mr. Hamer Khan, uh, to please uh, spotlight this aspect. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen uh, from the Ministry of Commerce in Islamabad. My name is Humair Karim. I am Additional Secretary, of Ministry of Commerce. It is a pleasure to be on board uh, for this very important roadshow and conference. I'd like to thank and extend my gratitude and greetings to the Ambassador of Pakistan in Sweden, Mr. Ambassador Zahur Hamad. I think, sir, this is a great job that you've done in, co in collaboration with the other embassies and the organizations in Sweden. I would like to thank all the participants, particularly the Ambassador of China and Sweden, Mr. Gui Gongyu, the Ambassador of Sweden, Pakistan, Mr. Henrik Persson, the Chairman Board of Investment, Mr. Atif Bukhari, Mr. Anders Tofte of Business Sweden, Mr. Ole Hanna of Innovation Norway, Ms. Lena Gandios, the Head of Danish Trade Development and President KCCI. It's a pleasure to be here and addressing this conference. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a matter of great delight to inform that the trade environment in Pakistan is improving rapidly, supplemented by the growth in legal, local economy and acceleration of exports, especially in the fields of food processing, textiles, minerals, auto parts, light engineering, and auto industry. Pakistan has the geographical advantage of being the regional launch pad for supplying products to parts of Central Asia and South Asia. Pakistan has recently embarked on the road of economic development and regional connectivity by forging and enhancing trading links with major regional players. In this regard, Pakistan and Afghanistan are renegotiating the transit trade agreement and high level exchanges have already taken place recently. Pakistan has also is also in the process of negotiating with Uzbekistan for a transit trade agreement and hence enhancing further trade with, with Central as part of enhancing further trade with Central Asia. Pakistan is also upgrading the rail and road infrastructure link to enhance connectivity with Afghanistan and Central Asian Republic states. Pakistan presents an ideal platform for foreign businesses to be part of global value chain as the country has decided to increase its access to markets of Central Asia. Pakistan has initiated trade facilitation for connectivity with Central Asian Republics and is the process of finalizing the transshipment policy. Pakistan and Uzbekistan are also working on a transit trade agreement to facilitate the trade of goods through roads of railways. The Ministry of Pakistan has the potential of substituting manufacturing activities in regional countries, which are shifting to other regional developing countries as China Pakistan Economic Corridor as is an infrastructure product which aims at promoting regional connectivity through Gawadar port. Pakistan intends to develop Gawadar as a trade hub for enhancing regional connectivity. The facilities at Port Qasim and Gawadar presents huge opportunities for transit trade and enhanced regional connectivity. Let me also inform that Pakistan is signatory of the UN Customs Convention on the International Transport of Goods under the cover of TIR Carnet and is in the process of implementation. The Chairman Board of Investment has already informed of the various investment opportunities that are available. Nine special economic zones to be developed along CPEC project are open for investment from all trading partners and aim at the economic development industrialization of Pakistan. The Ministry of Commerce, ladies and gentlemen, assures of its support to the companies from Sweden and Scandinavian countries who want to expand businesses and investment into Pakistan. One of the companies from Sweden, namely Ecoland, is already working jointly with the packages mall in Pakistan. Presence and availability of the representative of the Ministry of Commerce in Stockholm, and Embassy of Pakistan in Stockholm, the Embassy of Pakistan in Stockholm, who are readily available for all kinds of assistance and support that is required by the company and their requests would be promptly addressed. Given the current scenario and the bright opportunities that Pakistan is offering, we encourage the companies to come and invest in Pakistan. It would be a win-win situation for both countries, enhancing bilateral ties as well. As you're aware, there is a sizable Pakistani diaspora present in Sweden and the remaining six Scandinavian countries. They can also play an important role in strengthening the ties between the two countries. Lastly, the tremendous potential that exists for tourism in both countries also needs to be exploited. The government of Pakistan has undertaken major initiatives to attract foreign tourists 
and it is hoped that tourists from Sweden and neighboring countries would be able to visit Pakistan soon after the pandemic situation improves globally. Moreover, Pakistan can also benefit from the Swedish experience for development of tourism in Pakistan through the participation and investment of private companies from Sweden. With that, I'd like to end my, with my speech. I thank you all for this patient hearing. Thank you.